There is no doubt that WordPress is the best platform when it comes to building websites online. The problem comes when you're trying to run a professional service on your WordPress website. For example, let's say you're selling products on your site and you want that when someone purchases something, they get an automated email or when someone uh, gets refunded, they also get an automated email. WordPress does not talk to these other programs very well. And let's say, for example, you're running a, an online course website and you don't want that when someone uh, purchases their course, they get an, a welcome email. And if they then finish that course, they also get maybe an email or an offer to another more advanced course. And I can give you countless examples. This is where you need something that really connects all these services together and make them talk together because this is what makes a complete functioning platform. Today, I'm going to be talking about bit integrations. This is a fantastic tool that allows WordPress to talk to all these other tools. So when we take a look here, there are over 69 integrations and these integrations are very exciting. I can see here the main tools that I use are already on this list. There's Divi, uh, there's Fluent CRM, there's Active Campaign. And when we go further down here, there's also Google Sheets. So this is really, really amazing that you can have a tool working on WordPress, but then talks to all these other services. So the question now is, how easy is it to use and to set up on your website? That's what we're going to do now. Okay, so to install it, you want to come over here to your plugins and then click on Add New. Search for Bit Integrations. And here it is. I'm now going to click Install Now and Activate. So once activated, you're going to see it over here on the left panel. So if I click here on bit integrations, we now have this blank canvas. Okay, so let's go ahead and, cre and create integration. So out of the box, these are all the triggers that we can create. So uh, let's start with WooCommerce. So I'm going to come over here. So now I can select the task. I'm going to click on this drop down, And I want that when um, someone purchases. So this is going to be order create. Select that and hit next. Now, here's the thing. This is a free plugin. So you can see I'm limited to what I can integrate here. So all I have here is to integrate WooCommerce with only these uh, five over here, which to be honest, they're not very useful to me. I would like to integrate with all these other ones or any of these ones. So now let's install the pro version because that's where you get really the, the real power of bit integrations. So I'm going to come over here to my account. So when you purchase it, you are going to get a dashboard, which looks like this. So now I'm going to click on download and I'm going to copy my license key. And by the way, I will leave a link to bit integrations at the moment. They are on AppSumo, but I'll also leave a link where you can go directly to their website just in case uh, the AppSumo deal will be over. But this is the best plan that you can get right now. It's on AppSumo. All right. So now that I've downloaded and copied my uh, license key, I'm now going to come back over here now to my plugins and click on add new upload. And then I'm just going to drag and drop it here. Click install now and then activate the plugin. So now I'm going to come over here to Bit Integrations Pro and then I'm going to click on license to enter my license key, paste it over here and then hit submit. OK, so that has been successful. So I'm sure you can agree with me that installing it is very, very straightforward. Now let's get it to work to make these integrations work seamlessly. You need to prepare yourself beforehand. So, so for example, I went ahead and created my membership level in Wishlist member before I created the automation. I've also come over here and created my automation, which means everything is ready for me to go. So this is where now you can just connect all your services because your groundwork has already been done. And this is the best workflow to use with bit integrations. All right, so let's see how easy it is to implement this integration. So in our example here, we're going to have a customer buy something on WooCommerce. And when they've bought something, we want to add a tag and then send a series of emails through our email list. So let's dive in and let's see how we can implement this. So in Fluent CRM, I've already gone ahead and created our basic funnel here. So now let's go ahead and get started. So we want to come over here now to bit integrations. All right. So let's create an integration. So this one here is going to involve WooCommerce. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and then I'm going to click on this drop down and say order create. So when an order is created, this is how we would need to integrate this. I'm going to click on next. Now we're going to need Fluent CRM for this. So I'm going to come over here and select Fluent CRM, connect to Fluent CRM. Excellent. So I'm connected now. I'm going to say next. So here it's asking me for an action. Now remember over here, we need to add a tag. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on this drop down and then I'm going to say add tag to user. 
So I'm going to click on that. Now, I've already gone ahead and created a tag. So if I refresh this, it should show here on this drop down. And yes, sure enough, the tag is going to be called customer. I'm going to select that. Now it's time to map the fields. So I'm going to click on this drop down. So we're going to say billing email, and this is going to map to our email in our Fluent CRM field. Now I'm going to hit next and pretty much we're done. So I'm going to save and finish. When someone now comes over here, they purchase something from uh, WooCommerce, they get a tag in Fluent CRM, and then that tag now activates this email list which means they'll be getting all the sequences of emails that I would have set up. Now, this would be quite difficult to do if we did not have any integrations. Now, let's move on to the next example. In our second example, this one here is also straightforward. We want that when someone purchases a membership level, they get automatically added in wishlist member. Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here and say, create new integration. I'm going to come over here to WooCommerce. And then we're going to go again, like how we did before. We want order create next. And this time we need a wishlist member. So I'm going to come over here. We need to connect wishlist member. So over here, we need to add our wishlist member URL and also our password. So to connect that, all you need to do is to come over here to API. And then you want to copy the URL like that. Come back over here, paste it. And we also need our API key here. So I'm going to copy it, come back over here and paste it. Okay, so let's say adding user to membership level. Okay, great. Now I can hit authorize. Okay, so we can see here it's authorized. Now I'm going to hit next. So here is where we can add our action. So if I click on this drop down, I'm going to say add member under level, I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to click on this drop down. Now you notice that it's not showing. Oh, there we go. Business club. So this I had already gone ahead and created it. Okay, so now let's map our field. So here is the username. So I'm going to click on the drop down here and I'm going to use their email as their username. Or you can say first name as username. Okay, so let's go with first name. And then over here on uh, email, let's click on this drop down and we're going to say billing email. I'm just going to hit next, finish and save. And there we go. So this one here is called adding user to a level. So when someone purchases a membership level, automatically they're going to be added to that level. So this is how we can use this and the list is endless. Now, the one thing that I really, really like about bit integrations is it has a ton of integrations. And if you take a look here, we also have the DV form. Now the DV form is pretty much useless because it doesn't really do much for you. So when you now add the integrations, it means you can now link it up to your email service provider. You can also uh, kickstart some automations. So just by adding this plugin, we now start to activate and bring life to all these other services, which before they only work as a standalone item. Now let's talk about the UI. So when I take a look at this, it is very, very easy to use. So over here on this little hamburger icon, if I click on this drop down, if we click on timeline, this is going to show us this is going to show us the log. And I think this is also really, really good. Very easy to follow. And you can also show and also you can choose to show how many you want to show over here on the right. Now let's go back. If I click again on this uh, hamburger icon, we can also edit it. So if I click here on edit, I can go back into this and change any few things that I may need to change. We can also clone and also delete this just over here on the screen. And I think this is really, really easy to use. Now over here on the status, we can, uh, we can also disable it or enable it. It's just as simple as that. Now over here on the settings, now let's say you may want to delete this plugin for whatever reason. So you can choose to erase all the uh, plugin data over here by just activating that. That. And also you can specify how many days or log you, uh, that will be deleted. So you can just specify it here, activate it there, and pretty much you are good to go. So this is in situations where you may not want to uh, keep your customer's data on the system. So you can set it up over here. Okay, so let's talk about uh, other use cases of bit integrations based on the integrations they support. So over here, I can see there's Google Calendar. So imagine this, what if someone buys a service or a product on your website and you want to uh, add them to the calendar for, let's say, a follow-up or you want to remind yourself about a product that you may need to fulfill at a later stage. You can connect uh, WooCommerce with the Google Calendar. We also have another service here, which I found very, very interesting. We also have WP Funnels. Now, let's say you want to set up your sales funnels. You can link this up with your sales funnels and add tags and automations with other products to make this really, really fully functional. So in a nutshell, bit integrations is super powerful because it solves the problem of these disjointed elements that could be working together with 
WordPress. So if you're struggling with connecting any services, I highly recommend that you try this out. This will definitely solve your problems. It's very affordable, very easy to use, and it's very, very lightweight. So, so go ahead, download it. The link to that is in the video description below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.